The human mind holds incredible power. Our thoughts shape our actions, influence our emotions, and ultimately define our reality. By harnessing the strength of our mindset, we can transform our lives and relationships. The way we perceive ourselves and the world around us dictates how we interact with others and how we build connections. If you have ever wondered how to become the best version of yourself in relationships, many of us seek the answer to this because, deep down, we long for love, respect, and genuine appreciation from those around us. But how do we achieve this? How can we earn genuine admiration, not just for our outward appearances or achievements, but for who we are at our core? Think of each relationship as a journey where you are the adventurer of your own soul. You want to discover the hidden treasures within yourself and share them with others. To do this, you need a guide a path that leads to understanding, connection, and ultimately love. Today, I'll help you uncover your true value in a relationship using nine timeless stoic philosophical lessons. These are not mere empty pieces of advice you often hear. It's about empowering yourself in ways you might not have imagined. Get ready to uncover the mysteries of cultivating a life filled with love and meaningful relationships built on mutual respect and inner strength. Let's get started. Lesson one, recognizing your true value. How does stoicism help us recognize our worth in relationships? Stoic philosophy emphasizes concentrating on what we can control and your self-worth is something entirely within your control. It's not about the number of likes on social media or whether someone is interested in you. It's about how you perceive and value yourself. Imagine this. Think of yourself as a rare gemstone. Not everyone will notice the value of a rare gem, but that doesn't lessen its worth. It remains unique, precious, and one of a kind. Similarly, your value doesn't decrease just because someone else fails to see it. Let's face it. We've all faced rejection and felt inadequate, especially in a world where everyone seems to be succeeding. However, from a stoic perspective, your value isn't based on others' validation. It's tied to your actions, your principles, and your deeds. Are you kind? Are you honest? Do you live in a way that aligns with your values? That's where your true worth lies. Stoicism encourages self-reflection, so take a moment to think about your qualities, not just the obvious ones, but the deeper aspects of who you are. By doing this, you'll discover your inner strength. In relationships, it's about recognizing your inherent value, regardless of whether others acknowledge it. Remember, understanding your worth isn't a one-time event. It's an ongoing journey, a practice that evolves over time. It's about waking up every day and acknowledging to yourself that you have value, not because of someone else's opinion, but because of the intrinsic qualities that define who you are. Lesson 2. Present yourself with dignity. Before you imagine a stoic as a stern, unsmiling figure from ancient times, let's clear up a misconception. Stoicism isn't about suppressing your emotions or being indifferent. It's about discerning what deserves your energy and what doesn't. And guess what? How you present yourself definitely deserves your energy. So what does it mean to present yourself with dignity in relationships? Have you ever noticed how sometimes we go to great lengths to impress someone, often losing sight of who we really are? We change the way we dress and speak in hopes of gaining approval. But here's the key point. Your self-respect isn't tied to your fashion style or the trendy places you visit. It's about how you carry yourself, the actions you take, and the choices you make. Imagine you're in a classroom observing two students giving presentations. One student is flashy, using big words and dramatic gestures to impress the audience while the other student is composed and speaks confidently without any pretense. Which student do you think leaves a lasting impression? It's often the one who is genuine and comfortable in their own skin. This highlights the importance of presenting oneself with dignity. The Stoics 
known for their philosophy of self-control and virtue, emphasize the significance of living honestly and respecting oneself. How does this apply to dating today? It's simple. Be authentically yourself. If you love diving into books, embrace it. If you have a strong passion for something, let it show. It's not about pretending to be someone else. It's about feeling at ease and confident in who you are, understanding that you are valuable just as you are. Another crucial point is treating yourself with respect. The way you treat yourself sets the standard for how others will treat you. If you constantly criticize yourself, you're essentially saying it's okay for others to do the same. However, when you respect yourself, value your time, energy, and emotions, you're making a bold statement. I deserve respect, and I expect to be treated accordingly. Think about what Epictetus, a wise Stoic philosopher, once said. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. In relationships, it's not just about your appearance or words. It's about your responses and demeanor in various situations. Are you reacting with desperation or dignity? Are you sacrificing your principles to fit in, or are you staying true to yourself, even if it means standing alone? This doesn't require perfection. We're all human with our flaws and awkward moments. What matters is how you handle those moments. Do you crumble under pressure, or do you stay strong, learn, and keep moving forward? Let's take a moment to reflect. How can we show ourselves more dignity? It might involve setting clear boundaries or refusing things that don't align with our values. It might also mean treating ourselves with more compassion and respect. When you see yourself as worthy of respect, others will begin to see it too. Lesson 3. The Art of Nonverbal Communication I know this might sound a bit old-fashioned or strict, but bear with me. It's not about being hard to approach. It's about respecting yourself and recognizing your worth. So, what does Stoicism have to say about this? Stoicism teaches us to control ourselves and stay strong, but not in a rigid or boring way. It's about understanding what truly matters and not giving it away too easily. In a world where we want everything instantly and keep scrolling endlessly, Stoicism feels like a refreshing change. Think about it. In relationships, or when we're getting to know someone, there's often a rush to share everything. Our time, our space, our deepest feelings. But Stoics would advise taking a step back. Why? Because when something is always available, it loses its specialness. It's just human nature. If you're always there whenever someone needs you, always saying yes to everything, where's the excitement, the mystery, the anticipation? Let's discuss how to set boundaries gracefully, the stoic way. Firstly, it starts with your appearance. Dressing stylishly yet modestly isn't just about looks. It sends a message. It communicates, I respect myself. You're not hiding yourself, but you're also not revealing everything up front. It's about finding balance, expressing that there's more to you than meets the eye. Another crucial aspect is managing your time and focus. In our hyper-connected world, being discerning about who gets your time is a significant choice. It's not about playing games. It's about affirming that your time is precious and you prioritize it wisely. When you're with someone, be fully present and engaged. However, when you're not, it's okay to be unavailable, dedicating your energy to your own interests and personal development. Stoicism also emphasizes emotional self-mastery. It doesn't promote being cold or detached. Instead, it encourages maintaining a balanced perspective. This means not letting minor things affect you deeply. It's about preserving inner peace and composure. You don't freely give your emotional energy to everyone. It's something that should be earned, much like how you selectively allocate your time and attention. I'm not suggesting you become unfeeling or distant like a stoic statue. We are all human, and genuine connections are essential for a fulfilling life. 
However, there's something special about taking things at a steady pace, about forming connections that aren't based solely on immediate gratification. It's about creating meaningful relationships that have depth and endurance, something that goes beyond instant access and quick fixes. It's important to note that setting limits isn't about playing tricks or controlling situations. It's about respecting yourself and staying true to your principles. It's about demonstrating, not just through words, but also through actions, that you value yourself and deserve to be treated with respect. So here's to being a bit more selective, composed, and stoic in our relationship approach. It's about striking a balance between openness and discernment, between sharing and holding back a bit. And believe me, it greatly influences how others see and treat you. Cheers to valuing ourselves and embracing a touch of stoicism in today's dating scene. Lesson 4. Be ready to walk away. We've all been in situations where we know we deserve better but choose to stay. It could be fear of loneliness, fear of change, or simply holding on to hope for improvement. But this is where stoicism steps in. Real strength comes from understanding that we have the power to stay or leave situations that go against our principles, and we can choose a different path. This doesn't mean giving up as soon as things get tough. Relationships require effort, understanding, and time. However, it's crucial to understand your self-worth and principles so deeply that when something fundamentally contradicts them, you're prepared to move on. It's about having the inner resilience and stoic courage to affirm, I respect myself too much to settle for less than I deserve. Let's explore this further. Being ready to leave a situation is all about self-respect. It means staying true to what you believe in and knowing your own value. It doesn't always have to be a dramatic exit. Sometimes it's a quiet, peaceful realization that this isn't the right fit for you. Yes, it can be scary. The uncertain future can be intimidating. But think about our stoic friends. They showed us the importance of facing challenges with bravery and accepting life's uncertainties. Sometimes the bravest action is to let go of something that doesn't align with your path. This perspective can transform everything. When you're in a relationship and realize you're there because it reflects your values, not because you're afraid to leave, it's a game changer. It shifts the whole dynamic. You're not staying out of desperation or fear. You're staying because it's your genuine choice. Here's the key point. When you bravely step away from what doesn't benefit you, you create space for what does. It's like decluttering the past to welcome the future. It's about having faith that better things are waiting for you and giving yourself the opportunity to discover them. Remember, being ready to move on isn't about being aloof or uncaring. It's about valuing and caring for yourself enough to say, I deserve something better. It's about embodying stoicism when challenges arise, understanding that your value isn't dependent on anyone or anything else. Lesson 5. Setting Boundaries Silently Stoicism places a strong emphasis on actions over words. The Stoics believed in demonstrating beliefs rather than just stating them, which is particularly relevant when it comes to setting boundaries in relationships. It's one thing to talk about your boundaries, but it's far more impactful to show them through your actions. Consider this. It's easy to declare, I won't accept mistreatment. But the real test comes when you actually face such behavior. Will you uphold your boundary or will you compromise? True strength lies not in words, but in actions. I understand that this isn't easy. It can be challenging, especially when emotions are involved. However, let's remember the wisdom of the Stoics. We have the power to choose our responses to situations. If someone oversteps a boundary, it's your reaction that establishes and enforces that boundary, not just your words. Let's imagine a scenario where honesty is a core value for you and someone lies. How you respond in that moment shows how serious you are about your boundaries. 
Whether you calmly address the issue or decide to step back, your actions demonstrate your commitment to your values. It's not about causing conflict. It's about showing self-respect by reacting in a way that aligns with what you believe in. This approach can make a significant difference in relationships. When others see that you have clear boundaries and are willing to enforce them, they gain a better understanding of what you will and won't accept. It's about nurturing self-respect and staying committed to it. Let's explore a fundamental concept with a simple approach. It's not just the significant events that count, but also the everyday moments. How do you react when plans change abruptly or when someone doesn't value you enough? Do you brush it off or do you calmly express through words and actions that such behavior is unacceptable? This is where stoic mindfulness comes into play. It's about paying attention to the here and now and how you respond to it. Are your actions in line with your limits? Are you being authentic to yourself? It's important to be mindful of the little moments because that's often where your boundaries are truly tested. As we go through our day and interact with others, let's aim to embody a touch of stoicism in expressing our boundaries. It's not about being stubborn or unyielding. It's about having that inner guide that shapes how we act and respond. And trust me, when you adopt this approach, people take notice. They begin to see you as someone who not only sets boundaries, but also values themselves enough to uphold them. Lesson 6. Actions speak louder than words. As we've learned, Stoicism emphasizes practical wisdom, which means judging people based on their actions rather than just their words. In our world, many people say nice things but fail to follow through especially in relationships. Stoics advise us to look past the charm and focus on actions because actions reveal what's real. Consider this. It's easy for someone to say all the right things, make promises and paint a picture of a perfect future. But are they actually doing what they say? Are their actions in alignment with their words? That's where the truth lies. Let's be honest, haven't we all experienced this? We meet someone who says incredible things, and we're enchanted. But as time goes by, their actions don't match their words. They promise to call but don't, or they make plans only to cancel at the last minute, yet we still cling to their words. This is when our inner Stoic mindset needs to take over. Stoicism reminds us not to be swayed by words or overwhelmed by emotions. It's about being logical and seeing reality clearly. When someone's actions don't match their words, that's a warning sign. It's like the universe telling you, hey, take notice, something isn't right here. This mindset changes how you handle relationships. Instead of being swept away by sweet words and commitments, you start noticing the small details. How do they behave under pressure? Do they keep their promises? Are they present for you, not just in words, but in meaningful actions? Here's the fascinating part. When you focus on what people do instead of just what they say, you set a standard. You're telling them, I'm not just listening to your words, I'm watching your actions. This makes a significant impact. They realize they can't just talk their way into your life. They have to prove they're genuine and worthy of your trust. But remember, this isn't about being negative or distrusting everyone. It's about being wise and safeguarding your feelings with a dose of stoic insight. It means not letting emotions carry you away, but staying realistic. So, let's pay attention to actions, not just words. Let's approach love with a stoic mindset, being logical, observant and thoughtful. Because ultimately, actions carry more weight than words. Lesson 7. Cultivating healthy skepticism. Stoicism and reality are closely intertwined. The Stoics believed in understanding situations as they truly are, not as we wish them to be. This philosophy is particularly useful in love and dating. We've all been there. When someone says all the right things, we're eager to believe them, even when there are warning signs we choose to overlook. 
This is where adopting a stoic mindset can be beneficial. Being appropriately skeptical is like having a superpower. It doesn't mean being pessimistic or distrustful. Rather, it's about staying realistic and not accepting everything blindly. It involves being observant, asking questions, and not rushing into things without careful consideration. Imagine this scenario. You meet someone new, and they seem fantastic. They say all sorts of lovely things, even talk about a future together. But it's only been a short time. Your skeptical, stoic mindset would advise you to take it easy, wait and see if their actions align with their words, and observe how things progress. It's like a gentle reality check, urging you not to get swept away in romance, but to stay grounded and mindful. This skepticism isn't about bombarding the other person with questions or doubting their every move. Instead, it's about being thoughtful. It means not only listening to what they say, but also observing their actions. It involves taking the time to truly understand someone, to see if they're consistent and genuine. The Stoics emphasized using logic and reason, not just being carried away by emotions. In relationships, this approach is crucial. When emotions dominate, we may overlook important details, but when we combine our feelings with a dose of skepticism and logical thinking, we enable ourselves to see things more clearly. Here's another important aspect. It's about safeguarding your heart. By maintaining a bit of skepticism, you're not rushing into something without certainty. You're allowing yourself the opportunity to grasp the true nature of the other person, rather than projecting your desires onto them. So, let's remember the importance of adopting a hint of stoic skepticism. It's about being intelligent, attentive, and not letting emotions carry us away. It's about protecting ourselves and our emotional well-being. It's not about shutting ourselves off, but about approaching new opportunities with careful consideration and wisdom. Lesson 8. Saying no with confidence. In Stoicism, it's essential to adhere to your values and have the courage to stay true to yourself. This is particularly relevant when it comes to saying no in relationships. It means understanding your beliefs and not hesitating to maintain your expectations, even if it causes some disruption. Imagine you're in a relationship and your partner suggests something that doesn't sit well with you. It could be moving too quickly or asking you to do something against your values. The easy choice might be to go along with it, but this is where your stoic mindset is crucial. Saying no in these situations is about valuing yourself, your beliefs, and your limits. Let's be real, this isn't easy. It can be incredibly tough, especially when you care about the person. That little voice in your head keeps whispering, what if saying no pushes them away? But here's the thing, we need to summon our courage. Stoicism isn't just about dealing with external challenges. It's also about confronting our inner struggles head on. Saying no is all about self-respect. It's about demonstrating that you hold yourself in high regard and won't accept anything less than what you deserve. Granted, it comes with a risk. You might end up losing them. However, here's the crucial point. If refusing something that contradicts your values pushes someone away, then perhaps they weren't the right match for you in the first place. Taking this approach can truly transform the dynamics of a relationship. When someone realizes that you're unafraid to say no and that you won't compromise your values just to please them, it changes how they see you, it demonstrates that you have self-respect and that you value yourself. And let me tell you, that's incredibly appealing. Is another stoic perspective. Saying no isn't just about setting boundaries with others. It's also about being truthful with yourself. It's about recognizing your genuine desires and needs in a relationship and sticking to them. It's about not letting the fear of loneliness push you into decisions that aren't aligned with your true self. Let's pause and reflect on this. Let's affirm that saying no is not just acceptable, but essential. It's about staying authentic to ourselves and living with integrity, as the Stoics emphasized. 
It's about nurturing relationships founded on mutual respect and sincere connection rather than fear and concession. Lesson 9. Never chase, always value. This lesson ties together everything we've discussed, especially through the lens of Stoicism. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and to let go of what we cannot. This principle is particularly powerful in relationships, emphasizing that chasing someone who is distancing themselves is not only futile, but also undermines our self-worth. Imagine you're dating someone and everything seems great, but then they start pulling away. Our natural instinct, which we've all felt, is to chase after them and try to close that gap. But here's where Stoicism can guide us. The Stoics would ask, why pursue something that is beyond your control? The answer lies in recognizing your own value, dignity, and inner peace. Chasing someone who is moving away is like trying to catch water with your hands. It's pointless and leaves you feeling empty. Instead, the Stoic approach encourages you to stand firm in your self-worth. If someone is moving away, let them go. It's not about being cold or unfeeling. It's about understanding that you cannot control how others feel or behave, but you have full control over how you respond. Let's face it, resisting the urge to chase someone takes considerable inner strength. However, it's about having faith that if someone truly values you, they will show it. It's about refusing to let someone else's actions define your worth. Affirm to yourself, I deserve respect. And if you can't see that, someone else will. This mindset transforms everything. It puts the power back in your hands. You're no longer at the mercy of someone else's unpredictable behavior. You're in control of how you feel and what you do. It's empowering and liberating. Here's the kicker. When you stop chasing others and start investing in yourself, your life, your growth, and your development, amazing things happen. You naturally attract individuals who are drawn to your strength, confidence, and self-worth. It's as if you're sending out a message that says, I value myself and I'm aware of it. Let's internalize this lesson. Let's reaffirm that we never have to chase after anyone. Let's adopt a stoic mindset in our relationships, composed, self-respecting, and focused on what we can manage. It's about finding inner peace within ourselves, not seeking validation from others. Today, I want you to remember something very important. In the vast canvas of life, your self-worth is like the brightest thread that binds everything together. Just as the Stoics believed, you can decide how you respond to what happens around you. Never forget that you are in control of your own honor and self-esteem. Embrace your inner strength and let your actions, decisions and boundaries reflect the amazing person you are. If you ever doubt yourself, recall this moment and the stoic wisdom we've discussed. Life isn't just something to endure. It's an opportunity to grow, becoming stronger and wiser each day. If you enjoyed our conversation today, why not explore further? Check out our playlist displayed on the screen. It's packed with more insights, stories, and tips to help you navigate life with greater wisdom and confidence. Click on it and let's continue this journey together. Thank you for joining me in this conversation. See you soon.